Lee from the Oshkosh Beer Blog. I'm Adam from Event Carlson Wines. And uh, this morning we're drinking Fest beers, Oktoberfest beers. So uh, this Saturday, September 19th, is the beginning of Oktoberfest in, in, okay. in Germany, in Munich. Sure. So now we can drink these without being ashamed of ourselves or... Yeah, well, it's not, it's well, no they ought to be actually drunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're going to start off with, um, well, let's start off with the, the German one. Okay. So this is uh, from Hofbrau, a brewery that uh, began in 1589. So, Holy shit. Yeah, it's an old brewery, you know. Um, and the first thing you notice here is that... Uh, the hue. The yes. Light, light color. It's a pale beer. And that's one of the reasons I want to... It smells just like Heineken. <laughs> oh, it does have a little bit of the green bottle blues. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why do you think they do this? I mean, marketing. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I don't know. It's such a shame. I mean, because yeah, the, these are great beers. and, and, and light, So that, that's from the light. Yeah, it's light. The, uh, but I have to be honest. Yeah. I kind of like that. I, <laughs> we've been conditioned to like it, I think. Yeah, because you, know? you, you associate these better beers yeah. with the green bottle. But... So now at, at Oktoberfest in Germany now, this is what they're serving. These, yeah. these pale uh, lagers. Now, somewhere between like a Helles and a Maybach. Why, why the difference between a fest beer and a true Octo- Oktoberfest or, or what we're getting and what they're drinking there? Well, I, I think, I mean, why they went to it. They've been doing this for like 25 years now. I think it was 1990 they went over to these, you know, pale beers. Yeah. Um, and the reason was because people thought um, the... The brown beers, you know, the amber beers were too filling. It's, I think okay. it's all perception because... This is not a small no, beer necessarily. No, this is 6.3%. It, it, was, it has a lot of flavor to it, definitely. Yeah. Um, it's got some a little bit of residual sweetness to it, I, I feel like. Um, it definitely, when you said kind of Hellerbach or, or, or Maybach type, yeah. type I, thing, I can totally get that. I get kind of like a, a honey note from the malt. Mm-hmm. I and mean, there's a lot of malt <laughs> flavor here. It's a little bit sweet too. Yeah, it is. But like the the Oktoberfest we get from Hacker Shore or Pauliner, those are not the beers that are served those anymore. Those yeah. are export beers to this market. Yeah. Um, well, this is certainly a stark departure from from what those beers are. Yeah. I, I enjoy it, but it's it's definitely it doesn't have that kind of I don't know something about the color of a, an Oktoberfest that we see it kind of you know harkens in fall and it's just got a nice nice round kind of robust flavor and this is. Definitely different. Uh, and, and I think like uh, Hacker Short has more of that uh, toasted uh, kind of melanoidin, you know, the malt flavor, sure, more of a toasted sure. bready kind of flavor. Yeah. This yeah. is a little bit, uh, I mean, it's a really nice malt flavor. But to me, it tastes a little bit sweeter than some of those beers. Ab- absolutely. Which is kind of surprising. Yeah, it's got, it's got some hop bitterness to it. It does. I mean, it, it's, uh, and the hop aroma is there too, I would guess. Yeah, it's a little something like spicier, a little floral. Yeah. Magnum, or probably Magnum for bittering, but. Haller Tower, Tetnanger for, yeah. for mm-hmm. the aroma. But I really like this beer. It's, uh, I wish they wouldn't put it in the green bottle, but I yeah. mean, it's, it's a nice beer all the way around. Yeah. Well, I agree. I like that. So, to the other end of the spectrum now. Yes. Let's go with uh, an American Oktoberfest. Now, this one they're calling a fest beer. Okay. Um, but right away, you see the color. Yeah. Totally different. Yeah, this is more what you expect color-wise from these uh, Oktoberfest-style beers. Kind of a copper, amber. Yeah. So this is from um, Victory Brewing in Pennsylvania, uh, which... They have a great reputation. Yeah. I mean, they, they make a lot of a lot of nice beer. And they're only 400 years younger than yeah. Off Bros. <laughs> <laughs> that, that brewery started in 1996, I think. Okay. 96 or 97. The aroma is just caramel. Yeah, yeah. Big so caramel so different. Note. Have a little bit of dark fruit. I get like a little definitely plum or blackberry yeah. or something. And we were talking earlier about these Oktoberfest style beers. This really reminds me uh, of the Metropolitan Brewing Company okay. Oktoberfest that you've been selling. Here. Yeah. Hmm. I get. Is there any rye rye in this? I I, I would assume not. I, I I think they're using all um, European malts. Okay. So it's I would doubt seriously that there's going to be rye malt. I, I there isn't. I don't think this tastes very good. No, you don't like it. No. Yeah, the aroma is fantastic. The the palate is really it's very grainy, like cereal grain, and kind of you know. It is grainy. Disjointed to me. Yeah. I don't know. 
Well, and, and after the Hofbrau beer, it it almost tastes thin. Yeah, you know, it, it does. Here, Which, I'll, I have an idea. We've got a Metropolitan Afterburner right here. Oh, that'd be a good idea. So you just go in the cooler and you know grab whatever you need. <laughs> Isn't Let's, that how it works around here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I say we should we should go head to head with this in the uh, victory just to see how close they really are. Yeah, and after, you know the Hofbrau beer seems much smoother. Yeah, I just I can't drink any more of this. So, wow, you really <laughs> you're off at that bad. I I don't know. I. So this is Metropolitan Afterburner Oktoberfest. Yeah, they're, uh, they're in Chicago. Chicago, right? Illinois. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah, uh, new to the market about probably four months ago, and they're they're a lager brewery. So, and, and you and I have had combined, I think, all the beers that they've come out with, and they've yeah. all been really. True to style, very easy drinking, but just really good, good lagers. I really like their beer. So this is more of a copper colored beer. See, this is what I was expecting. Yeah, and so if you smell the two together, this the aroma on this is just you know, tons grand, of grand, This is quite a bit warmer, but you know, you're, you're not terribly far off. I, this has that kind of greenness as well, but there's something about it that's a little bit more. Kind of smoothed over, maybe. Yeah, it's definitely a smoother beer. Yeah. This. Yeah. And I so I had I've had one bottle of this before, and I liked it quite a bit of the fast beer from Victory. Yeah. But then after the Hofbro, I don't know. It kind of falls apart on you. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Not, I, I like the Hofbro a lot, and I like the Metropolitan. I think I like like the Metropolitan best of the whole group, actually. But the uh, I don't know Victory the fast beer. You know what I'm saying though? It, yeah. It's kind of. When I say disjoint, I mean like the, the parts don't really fit together, like the, the hops and the, the malt, and the, the malt tastes a little... Yeah, and the graininess that you, yeah. you spoke about earlier, that really comes out on there. Yeah. I mean, it's it's almost kind of a, a rough sort of flavor or malt yeah. that you don't expect yeah. from uh, from that type of beer. Yeah. This is nice, though, the uh, Metropolitan. Yeah, I like that, too. And that's a, this is a, a little bit... Has the same sort of sweetness that the Hofbrau does. Too. Yeah, it does. This is nice. I could I could drink this. I still think now if they would put that in a green bottle, that'd be a great beer. The Metro. <laughs> we could use a little, a little bit of skunk on there. I absolutely. You know, like, well, uh, yeah. So, oh, those are nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. The Metropolitan. That's good. That is nice. I I like that a lot. So uh, we'll have our own Oktoberfest here in Oshkosh on October 3rd. Okay, that's uh, it. Saturday, October 3rd at the Dockside. Dockside, okay. Yeah. Is uh, that still in there? They have like an out, out building there? Is yeah, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be part of it indoor, and then they'll be doing things, out, you know, like they do all every year. Sure. Keg rolls or whatever, all that Are stuff. Are they doing that jog or walk or whatever I think they're it is? Doing, I think they're going to do the run again. I know that's popular because yeah. of the, uh, the amount of beer they hand out. Yeah. So I'll be inside... Uh, Pouring beer, okay. So, <laughs> not surprising. We'll go, yeah, I'm just gonna, we're gonna do like a um, kind of like a guided tasting of Oktoberfest, and usually it's uh, all German beers with one American beer thrown in. Okay. So I think it's yeah. gonna be that same sort of. Maybe where all the people are sleeping. Yes, yeah. exactly. Other than me, as I drink one Oktoberfest after another. Mm-hmm. So we should mention here we have hops sitting here in front of us. Yeah, these were freshly picked this morning. Uh, these are from my leftovers that I don't have enough. Uh, I don't have enough space to put all the hops I grew this year, so wow, these are uh, sadly going to go down the tubes. But and these are from your own yeah, property, from the backyard. Yep, Cascade and Nugget, those wow. are so very cool. All right, Adam. Okay, that's cool. cool. Thanks. Pros. Cheers. Happy October, guys.